everyone and for this video today we'll be comparing a good versus bad wig to assist in finding the right one for your lead coordinate. I found that there weren't many uh, resources comparing a more lower end wig to a more decent quality wig uh, so I wanted to share my findings in a video uh, so you could see for yourself uh, the standard of wigs to expect. The wigs I'll be comparing is this cheap eBay costume cosplay wig uh, with this gothic leader wig. I'd like to make a quick disclaimer that by all means uh, there are success stories in finding good wigs on eBay uh, but this wig is a pretty bad one so I wanted to use it as comparison. Similarly there are also those people who have had bad experiences with gothic leader wigs and while I personally haven't gotten any um, I just want to add that I'll be comparing these wigs in isolation and not as a representation. The gothic leader wig I'll be comparing is this short black one. If you've seen in my other videos, I do have some longer gothic leader wigs, uh, but I don't really want to be turning them inside out and ruining the curls on them. So this one will do for what I have to say. The first thing I like to mention about bad wigs is that they are thin. Um, you can see on this cosplay wig um, that you can see the wig construction from the outside. This can be problematic as if you naturally have darker hair, uh, you'll be able to see your normal hair through this wig. Something interesting to note is that even though the black wig is a short wig, uh, it's very dense and its weight is the same weight as the long eBay wig uh, that you may expect to actually be heavier. I can further emphasize the point of wig thinness uh, because holding the wig up and looking through it from the inside, uh, you can see a lot of light shining through the wig, while with the gothic leader wig basically, uh, not a lot of light is getting in. Now here's a quick look at wig construction. So flipping both wigs inside out, um, I like to note that the eBay wig uh, has no stretch to the inside of the wig, except for maybe this elastic piece at the back, while the gothic leader wig has these elastic strips running all the way down uh, through the wefts. Both wigs do have these adjustable hooks, uh, as well as the circular piece uh, for that fake skin part you see at the top of the wig. The gothic leader wig, in addition, uh, has uh, side combs uh, and a comb at the back for helping to secure your wig. I'd also like to add that the gothic leader wig uh, does have these extra wefts at the front uh, that I think help cover up the kind of thinness that you get in a lot of cheap wigs at the front. I find the elastic construction of the gothic leader wig uh, overall makes it a lot more comfortable because it kind of like stretches kind of to fit your head better than the eBay wig. Surprisingly though, um, I don't find the cosplay costume eBay wig to be overall shiny uh, like you get with some of those Halloween wigs. So I suppose I scored pretty lucky on eBay. However, I would still recommend the gothic leader wig in that there is at least some standard you'll know you'll be getting. Uh, while with the eBay wigs, it's definitely more of a hit or miss. I hope that helps in comparing the standards of wigs and will give you a better idea of what to expect. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching. Bye for now.